Hello, and welcome to Cross Country Kitchen, where we want to take you on a culinary tour across the United States. As you join us on our journey, we will be creating a staple dish from all of the 50 states. We'll be starting our journey on the West Coast in California, where we'll be making a local staple, the Double Double Animal Style Burger from In-N-Out. Harry and Esther Snyder opened the first In-N-Out Burger in 1948 in Baldwin Park, California. The 1960s brought an upswing in skating and surfing. Rowdy surfers and skaters would hang out in the In-N-Out parking lot late at night. The employees behind the counter referred to them as the animals. The main cook of the establishment, Theo Roberts, began cooking up a non-traditional burger. He fried the burger patty in mustard, added grilled onions, pickles, and sauce to both buns. One of the surfers asked Robert what he was making, and he said, Just ask for an animal burger, and we'll know what you want. That's how one night in 1969, in Baldwin Park, California, the most famous secret menu item in the country, was born. To start this recipe, we need some good quality ground beef. We're using 80-20 ground chuck. Form the burgers into two ounce balls and press them flat with your spatula. Throw the patties onto the griddle and season with salt and pepper. Coat the top of your burger in a good amount of yellow mustard. You can try other mustards, but we find that regular classic yellow mustard works the best for flavor and texture. Place the inside of your buns face down on the griddle to toast them. Once your patty is fully cooked on one side, flip it so that the mustard is facing the griddle and add your cheese to the top. You can use a small bowl over your patty to help melt the cheese. Add the caramelized onions to one of your patties and then add the second patty on top. For a true animal style burger, layer like so. Bottom bun, sauce, lettuce, beefsteak tomato, pickles, burger, caramelized onions, burger, more sauce, and your top bun. Join us next week where we head to New Hampshire to make a Canadian French classic, poutine. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to join us in the rest of our journey, please like, comment, and subscribe.